Yes, that's what you think it is. It's a palm tree. And we're here in uh, Boca Raton, Florida. Jacob Chicken actually grew up here. So we're gonna do a special edition of Road Tripping with Biz, where we have his uh, parents involved, Jeff and Nancy, where they clearly own a beautiful home, as you can see, in a gated community. Not a big deal. We're gonna go ring the doorbell. Hopefully they're up. Hopefully they actually made us some breakfast. And uh, let's go check it out. Let's go ring the doorbell. Whoa. What's up, guys? How's it going? It's Jacob Chikrin. This is where he used to, uh, is this where you grew up? This is where I grew up, yeah, born and raised. The same home? Same home. Gated community? Yeah, yeah. Humble break. All right, let's, uh, let's welcome ourselves in. Who's this little guy? This is uh, Toby. Hello. Say hi, Toby. Hi, Hi, Paul. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. First time ever, I'm going to hand the mic over to Jacob, and he's going to introduce the family. This is clearly a big road trip, and you invited everyone. So I brought uh, half the family here. Uh, we got my mom, Nancy. <laughs> Thanks, Biz. Uh, my dad, Jeff. Uh, my grandpa, this is John. We call him Dito. And then my grandma, PC. Let's get this thing started. These are some of my dad's jerseys from when he, from when he played. Uh, he was drafted to Philly, and then he played in Pittsburgh for a couple of years, and then L.A. for a bit. A true Philly jersey. It's got blood all over it. Pretty much how all Flyers jerseys from that era looked, right? Yeah, yeah, I think... Uh, it was actually part of their logo. This is the best part about this road trip, and is we're going to get the old school stories and the new school stories, where more guys in the locker room used to smoke cigarettes than not. A lot of jerseys here, though. A lot of moving around. Did your old man even unpack his suitcases where he went and played? <laughs> Ask him, ask him, we'll see what he has to say. It got, it got a little awkward in here. I don't think we've been offered bagels anymore. Stanley Cup picture. And Where's the old Where man? is he? Well, here's my dad. Here's Mario. Wow, he had a pretty nice salad back there. Dogger here. It's funny because I played against Yogs last year. So here's Yogs and my dad together, and I played against them last year. Pretty obvious why you wear number six. You know what? It was actually given to me last year at training camp. I didn't even pick it. Um, they just kind of gave it to me out of camp, and. Um, I wasn't going to change, ask for a new one because it was my dad, so I thought it was pretty cool. And it's just kind of, I've rolled with it. So, is this talk? Wow, talk had hair? With hair, imagine that. <laughs> wow, look at this memorabilia. There's Chris's twig back in the day. I actually got this for Christmas one year. I that was one of, of the best gifts I ever had. Well, it's it's uh, crazy how many they went through. I wouldn't want to pay that stick budget. We have a lot in common, Biz, I think. I think I can guarantee you the three of us scored our first goals on a future, on either Hall of Fame or a future Hall of Famer, though. Okay, uh, you, you were who? I was Price. That's weird, because Luke Shen was Carey Price, too, and so was I. Billy Smith. Pretty, pretty decent. Yep. Wow, this yeah. is a, a lot of similar personalities here. Are we going to get to see Jacob's room? That's up to him. Yeah, of course. Why not? Let's go, let's go check it out. All right. Wow, look at the outside of this door. So I've had this picture since I was a little kid and ended up scoring my first NHL goal on him. So that was that was pretty cool. A couple medals. Just a couple? I don't, I don't even know what all of them are for. Oh, I just collecting. Just let me. Here, let's uh... oh, oh, it opens too, <laughs> sorry. Come on in, guys. I think we're gonna get the black light out on the, on this bed like Room Raiders. My idol, I collect the uh, bobblehead starting a couple weeks ago. My favorite one I ever got right here. We actually put this in the house before I came in. We planted it, but thank you for that. Who, who's actually your favorite? I, I, I'm a big Howler guy. Well, my roommate's Max, so I, I think if I had to pick one. We've had uh, one guy on the show already, uh, Clayton Keller, who's roommates with Christian Fisher. Yeah. Now you're roommates with Max Domi. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, we're definitely the more mature household. Oh, so you guys can cook and clean and, and do somewhat grown-up things? Oh, yeah. Yeah, those guys, they... They're pretty much useless. They're their child. They're, they're children still. They like to think they're the smarter household, which is you know just humorous. <laughs> We're just tearing the team apart right now. Some, uh, Look at this old helmet from your old man. So my my grandpa downstairs. I think these are his dad's skates, which is pretty cool. Imagine skating on these bits. Fair enough time as it was with the stiff <laughs> boots. Imagine these ones. I got strong angles. That's one thing I did have. You, I know you didn't want to talk about them, but these are probably your most prestigious awards. Your beads for Mardi Gras. They're collectible items. Oh, I know they are. 
I wish uh, I wish we could actually get the stories about how you got these, but uh, we're gonna keep it PG. Uh, can you show us your closet? Because I know you're a big fashion guy. Probably empty. All my stuff's in Arizona, right? So. Oh, this is beautiful. What is this Gucci? Oh, never mind. It's uh, Arizona Coyotes. Uh, this is another first on road tripping with Biz. We got your old man Stanley Cup rings. Uh, one's a Calder Cup ring in Hershey. So this is uh, Hershey Bears AHL Calder Cup. And that's the big boy, the yeah. Stanley Cup ring. That's the one uh, we're going for. I just wanted to talk about him growing up and playing minor hockey here. You know, what, what was that like? Well, we were lucky. We had, the Panthers made a run here in 97 or so. So I think the Jacobs draft here, there were six Florida-born kids drafted in the National Hockey League in 2016. And three of them actually played on Jake's House league team when he was five. It's pretty. Neat. It's almost like that cup run started a, a bit of a baby boom as far as the hockey players well, were concerned. I think it definitely did. I mean, you can get a ticket in Miami Arena when they first started. It was it was fun. They were winning. Now, when we played minor hockey against them, there was rumors floating around that these young players were getting paid. Uh, any any truth to that? Um, not as much as the guys in London. But I'd like to discuss that a little bit too. Now you were drafted to Sarnia. I actually heard that Sarnia had to pick up the slack, and when Danny Fritchie was drafted there, you you guys know. Just be honest. <laughs> no, no, I have no idea what you're talking about. We, I know how it works. Yeah, just tell us. Yeah, you know, you tell them. You tell them. I mean, no, well, they want to hear from you. And we like to give our London Knights buddies a hard time, Devo and, and Maxi. And They're gonna start paying we guys in Bitcoin. Them. Yeah, <laughs> no, that's yeah. What, that's, Actually, that, was, that was why they're not good this year. There's like a yeah. transition. That's right. what players want. Kind of so an awkward stage. Yeah. Well, Jacob, we're outside now. Beautiful day, and uh, you know, with with uh, Florida, you think of a lot of things. You think of alligators, and you got a pond in the back here. Is there a gator? There has been a few gators. Uh, the community, once they find out there's one in here, though, they, they hire people to come take them out. You know, it's a, it's a family community, so they don't want any gators running around. Snatching babies or little dogs, like we got the little little pup over there, and she'd be a nice little snack for a gator, so. Um, yeah, there's none in there right now, but there has been before. You know, I, I didn't really want to get into it because I know it's a touchy subject. Um, you know, in, in Rocky IV, when you lost to Rocky, you know, especially after all that hard training you did, but uh, that must have been a very difficult time in your life when, you know, you're expected to win, all the Russians were, were breeding you, you were taking all that extra stuff on the side. Just talk about how that impacted your life, especially at, at a fairly young age. I knew this question was coming, so they, they actually told me earlier in the year, so I just had a lot of time to prepare for it. I had to you know, get some counseling for it, and that's why I'm able to laugh it off now. But yeah, you're right, it was a you know, tough time in, in my life, and you know, I <laughs> took a lot to recover from it, but um, hey, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, right, Biz? You played minor hockey for Little Caesars. I was, I think, 13 when I started that. So my mom didn't want me leaving the house, 13 years old. So I went to school during the week here in Florida. And then uh, I would fly every like Thursday or Friday after class um, with my dad to, to Detroit. And I'd play weekends. We'd have either league games on weekends or tournaments. Yeah, I can't imagine for a 13-year-old to have to travel that much and, and, and balance. You're basically a, a pro athlete at, at, at a young age. Yeah, and then I ended up moving away from home at 15, so I've kind of been away for a while. I had uh, a couple of really good parents that kind of raised me the right way, and, and I was able to, you know, transition with ease. Well, you know, Talk mentioned that, and I know you're a young guy, and it's hard for a young guy to kind of talk in the room and, and, and establish themselves of a, as a leader, but he sees it naturally in you, and that probably has a lot to do with the fact that you had to grow up fast based on, on your past with the minor hockey situation. Yeah, for sure. For sure, I think uh, that's something that kind of comes natural to, to some guys, the you know leadership qualities, and I think I just try to work hard every day and and uh, you know be a good teammate. I think that's that's really important. Is um, you know as a young guy, you you know you don't want to overstep your boundaries. You just want to go about your business and and work hard every day and, and do your best to you know help the team win. And I think if you do that, everything else kind of falls into place. Well, Jacob, we don't want to take too much of your time. This has been awesome. Thank you for showing us around your house, your room, all your medals, your bobblehead. Yeah, love my bobblehead. Highlight of the road tripping right there. So thanks for coming. Yeah, and we got to see some memorabilia. And it was, it was like the Hockey Hall of Fame all over again. So thanks for joining us on Road Trip with Biz. And, and, and thanks for letting us in the gate, the gated community. <laughs> yeah, I called you in, no worries. Good guy, Jacob Chikrin. Thanks for joining us.